I told them, I choose whenever I meet a young person, I want to know what that young person wants. So you see me every day talking to young people. So this is just this morning, I went somewhere with the chairman. And a young lady was to board the water for me to meet I said, I will do it. She said, she will do it. She was excited to do it. She was worried when I said to me, she was almost in tears when I lost the election. And I said, so what's your name? She said, she's this cousin. And I said, so who are you? She said, she's last time. So I said, where do you go to school? She said, she went to university last time. She said, so what do you do? She said, she has no job. She graduated since 28. Say, so what are you trying to do? She told me she's learning how to do baking. So why are you not instead of being here to do this? Say she doesn't have seventy five thousand naira to buy an offer. Okay, uh so many people at the back there. So what I'm going to do is that's the last you get in my chair. People who don't have money to buy. In case you don't know him, that was Peter Obi, the presidential flag bearer of the Labour Party, who lost to Tinubu, the APC presidential flag bearer in Nigeria. He actually broke down on a live TV in a reaction to an experience he had with a, a discussion he had with a young girl, a, a youth who has been unable to secure a job in our own country. Apparently, some Nigerians are definitely not happy about this development. So, what's your take about the results so far and the emergence of the president-elect Bola Ahmed Tinobu? And with this development, do you think people would turn out in, in mass to vote during the governorship election? Thank you so much for watching. I'm very grateful. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't get to miss any of my future posts. I promise to bring you interesting topics. God bless you.